Hey folks, Dave here back in Studio B, kind of pitch hitting for Ron today as he, uh, he will be going tonight with his baseball. So I figured I would jump on at lunchtime and take his slot today on a rainy Tuesday here. Yeah, we finally got a little bit of rain here and uh, thought I would uh, have some fun today. Pro Strategy Football 2023. I'm going to be replaying the 1981 season kind of in a sports center type of way, if you will. I'm going to Probably play one game. I've simmed all the other games, and we'll check in on them during the day. Uh, I didn't set up the 1 p.m. to uh, 4 p.m. format. I just kind of laid them all out and just, uh, um, you know, so I get all the games played at the same time. So that way they're just it just makes it a little bit easier to do that. So we're going to do that today. I'm going to play I'm going to play the Giants and the Bucks. Uh, I think I have a custom schedule too. I've been playing around with this 1981 season. I don't I don't want to just do a straight 81 season. I do want to play and have some fun with it. So I'm going to put the goalposts on the goal lines all season long. At least I, at least I set it up that way. Let's hopefully that uh, that happened. And then um I'm going to uh have a a, a different schedule than 1981. So it, it's it's going to be no holds barred this season. We're going to have goal posts on the goal lines. We're going to have long field goals, hopefully. And we're going to just have a lot of fun here playing a, a different schedule than 81. And let's see how it pans out. So I'm gonna, the, the plan is to play me to play one game of the week when I come on here and sim the rest. And so I can just do 16 episodes here, get it done, and uh, let's see what happens in the playoffs. So without further ado, oh, I do want to thank um, the, the Patreons again that uh, – that are helping me and Ron out with Digital to Dice and my channel. Thank you so much to uh, the Patreon supporters. You guys have been great. Um, oh, I need to add one here. David, I didn't add you yet. So uh, you, you, were, you are a new one here. So David is our newest uh, Patreon, and I will get you on here. I will I will get you on on the, uh, the, the, uh, the next go around here as we uh, set up this. So uh, thank you so much. Um, so I got to fix that. He, he just signed up here, so I didn't get a chance to fix this yet. But anyway, so let's get down to the field and see if uh, my shortcut will work, and I'll get down to the field here. As we got Tampa Bay going into Giant Stadium. Again, this is kind of a custom schedule for the season, and I think it would be fun just to mix it up. Since I'm going to have a goal post on the goal lines, I thought I would mix it up and uh, just have a little bit of fun here tonight uh, or this afternoon. So here we go. So let's go do this. And we're going to play casual for right now. Kind of get a quick game going in here. And uh, Giants win the toss, and we will receive. All right, and we'll, uh, we'll, let up, we'll let my man choose. There we go. And let's go. And a long kickoff by the Buccaneers in their white jerseys. And it's going to be taken by Garrett. He's going to move up to the 20, to the 25, to the 30. He's got some room here. He's up to the 35. And he's finally tackled. That's where the Giants will take over. You can see we have the goal posts on the goal line. That's kind of cool. I'm just trying to see if I have any um, sound here. Sorry about that. Sorry, I'm just, just checking the sound. I know it's not totally unprofessional, but I have no way of monitoring my sound here. So hopefully you heard a little bit of the game sound. All right, so the Giants take over at the 35. Both teams ended up 9-7 and seven in real life, by the way. And uh, his midlife crisis stopped by. Thanks for coming by this afternoon. Both teams were nine and seven. The Giants, however, win that NFC East. They didn't make the playoffs. Tampa Bay won the division at nine and seven. So that's how it goes. We're going to start off with a short pass. Here we go. Sims takes the snap, goes back, fires, dumps it off to Perkins, and he threw it over his head. That'll be incomplete. Uh, what I like to do here is I like to have the bigger guys, so my guys a little bit bigger than you normally would see. And um, so I, that's how I like to play. All right, so we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna go outside run here. Let's see if we can catch these guys napping here. I'm gonna give it a carpenter. So Sims, going a carpenter on the outside. Plenty of room on the outside. He will pick up eight yards, and it's gonna be third and two now for the Giants. After about an hour, after I posted regarding the punt rule for the goalpost, I was watching highlights from 1972. Let me know what you found out. I, I it's just something I I thought about. That if if you if the goalposts are on the goal line, you know what happens. Let me go back to Studio B for a second here. So again, you know what what happens if the, if the goalposts are on the goal line and you're punting and you punt out of your end zone and you hit it. Is it a live ball? Or is it a safety? What is it? So I'm I'm interested to see that. I never really got the answer to that, and I never really saw it either. So anyway, 
So our kicking team punting from the end zone, snapping the ball from about five yards left of the hash. Okay. Yeah, I think I did hear that, that you were allowed to move it left or right five yards to avoid that. So they had maybe that was a built-in rule. All right, so we got a third and two. Let's see if we can get it on the ground. We're going to go inside run, Buccaneer defense in the 3-4. Sims the carpenter. He is close. And did he get it? First down. Yeah, he did it. So Carpenter picks up just a couple yards for the first down. Now, they want to go long pass here. I am thinking about going, um, I want to go with a run, then I want to go with a screen. So let's go with the, uh, a middle run. All right. Eye formation up the middle and fumble. It's a fumble, but New York gets it back after a three-yard gain. Oh, boy. Leon Perry drops the ball, but the Giants recover. And it's second and seven. Whew. So let's go with my screen pass now. All righty. So Sims going back to pass. Dumps this one off. Carpenter gets it. The screen works. He'll get a few yards. And that's going to set up a third and one after a six-yard gain. And I think I'm going to go uh, short pass. I think I'm going to screw them up here and go short pass. Here we go. All right, Sims. Short yardage. He fakes, he throws this one, caught complete Gray on the side, and Ernest Gray picks up four, and that's a fish down. And uh, no, this is not the Pickle Rick channel, but for $100, I will write your name on my arm it, with magic marker that I will erase later on and then put somebody else's name on there. But you will feel special for a few minutes. You will. You will feel very special. Uh, Ron, can you hear the uh, the game sounds in this? I don't know if... If I have them too high or too low, I, I can't really monitor them. So let me know if you can hear any game sounds. And if you can, are they are they too low or are they too high? All right, so we got a, on the Tampa 42. Let's go long. Let's go long pass. All righty. Sims out of the shotgun. Oh, he's in trouble. He launched it. He's got a man. It's caught by Freed. And for Mike Freed for 25 yards down to the Buccaneer 17-yard line. Um, is it, so do I need to go up or down on the volume? I can, I can probably go up a little bit. Let me see. Let me go back to Studio B. And let me let me bring bring the audio up. I'll bring it up a little bit. I just don't want to blow you guys away. All right, so now we'll come back to the game. And, uh, all righty. So let me see. There's no good place to put my camera. That's the thing. All right, so uh, let me see. We got, let's go, um. The passes are going well, but let's let's go uh, let's go outside run. All right, so I just turned them up a little bit. Let me know if it's if it's too bad. All righty, Sims pitch to the side. Perry picks up a couple, and they're gonna give him one. So it's gonna be a second and nine right now. I really don't have a good place to put the camera. I suppose I could go. I could put the camera on here. So you, I like to see people when I do it. That's just me, um, but just. This, this screen is a very busy screen, so I think I might be in the way. Oh, I like the giant stadium. I just noticed that there, by the way, too. Um, so I put myself on camera. Let's see if that's any better or any worse. Because I do like to see. So I'm going to pop up over here. Maybe that's not too bad. Let's see if I'm in the way of the game. All right, so we're going to go well, We're going to inside run this time. All right, so this sounds better. Thank you so much. I like the giant stadium, how they've done the stadiums this year. They've done a great job. Perry up the middle for a couple of more. Penalty. And we got a penalty on the play. We got a flag. Holding. And Neil Pritt says, oh, boy, holding. So we're going to back us up here. Hmm. Not good. So we're back to the 26-yard uh, line here. Second and 19. So we need to go short pass. They're going to be playing short pass. I wonder if we could do a draw. Let's do a draw. All righty. Sims. Hut. Back to pass with the draw up the middle. Carpenter has it. And he picks up a few, but it's still a long way to go here. We have a third and 15 now on the 22. I like how they have the field goal range up here so I can see that. So 76% chance. If I could pick up a few more yards, I'm going to go draw again. I'm going to go another draw and see if I can pick up a few more yards. All righty, Sims. Back to pass. The drop to middle. Carpenter goes up. Oh, he's going to get a lot of yards. Ooh, now I got some decisions to make. 13 yards. That's a fourth and two on the nine. Oh, boy. As uh, 
Uh, Smale stops by. Is that Smale or Small? I, I, Smay. I'm sorry, I can't read that. My eyes are really bad. Smelly Wrestling Geeks coming by. As we got 1981 season here. And I remember the goalposts are on the goal line. So the field goal is going to be pretty much automatic. Although 76% chance of the goal is going to be a, uh, I'm on the nine. It's going to be a 16-yard uh, a attempt <laughs> from the nine. Do I want to go for it on fourth and two? Oh, boy. Uh, we're going to kick the field goal. We're going to kick the field goal. It's fourth and two. Let's get some points on the board. I know. I know. Let's go for it here. All right, so we're going to kick the field goal here. Danello coming in. Going to be a very short attempt. The kick is up, and that is right through the uprights, and that is good. It's good. So 16-yard attempt. See you tell that uh, the ball was put at 16, the goal post uh, on the goal line. That's how I'm doing here. Just having some fun. I'm not playing as the Bucks. No, I got my Giants hat on. I'm playing as the home team. I didn't want to see like I was playing favorites. Kind of like I do with the Spiders, you know what I mean? All right, deep kickoff here. Danello boots this one from the 35. Giants in their dark jerseys. Buccaneers in their road white jerseys. This game looks absolutely fantastic. It goes right through the goalpost. <laughs> it's a touchback. That is awesome. SDG replay stops by. He's back in the States. Good to see him back. All right, so we'll go short. Yeah, we'll defend short pass here. So who's got the ball here? Williams. Williams. Oh, a handoff to Wilder. He got nowhere. And the Giants stack him up for a one-yard gain. So it's going to be second and nine. I think I'm going to go short pass again. The Bucks and Williams. They're going to hand off to Equit. Equit's got some space over there, but the Giants wrap him up again. Harry Carson on the tackle. Only three yards on the play. And so it's going to be third and six. So we're going to defend short pass again. So the Bucks come out with two runs, and now they go back to pass and caught at Kevin House. He's got a first down out to the 43-yard line. Oh, man. So the Giants had him bottled up. They played short pass. Buccaneers called short pass, but nice pass by Williams. So we're going to go, um, we're going to go inside run. Giants playing the run this time. Buccaneers go with the outside run. Equid, and he's pushed out of bounds. Yeah, two-yard gain on that one. And, no, we're going to go, um, we're going to blitz. We're going to blitz. We're going to send him. All right, Williams going back to pass. He's in some trouble. Well, he gets away. He throws it. Intercepted. Threw it right in the hands of Mark Haynes as Williams was pressured. Let's see that one again. What a good call by the defensive coordinator, me, <laughs> to put some pressure on him. Look like I just sitting there. The, the graphics this year are just so good in this game. They really are. They're so good. And the mods are fantastic. And everything about this is just so much fun. I, I had no idea how good this game was going to look and how fun it was going to be. I really didn't. And it's, it's kind of blowing me away. All right, um, we're on the 45-yard line. We're going to go uh, outside run first, and then we're going to come back with a long pass. Carpenter and Perry in the backfield. Sim with a pitch to Perry on the outside. He's going to get a first down and more. First down all the way down to the 43 of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And now we're going to line this up for my long pass. Gray and Freed off to the left. Perkins to the right. Sims in the shotgun. Sims. And we've got a flag on a play. And we're going to delay a game. Oh, that's just great. So the Giants now with a couple of penalties here. A couple of stupid penalties. And that's going to screw that one up. So let's go um, short pass here. I'll go medium pass. All righty. Sims under center this time. Goes back to pass. Fires this one. And caught by Freed. Oh, and he's got that near first down. He got 14 out of the 15 that he needed. And it's going to be second in one right now for the Giants. Playing as a Giants, 1981. Goalposts are on the goal line, and I'm playing a custom season. Not a custom season, but a random season, I should say. And that's some of the fun things you can do here in Pro Strategy Football 2023. Um, second and one. We're going to um, go long. we gotta, we got a down to play with here. Second and one. Sims out of the shotgun. And he is sacked. Hugh Green getting in there on the sack, and that's an eight-yard loss, and he should have got rid of that ball, and he didn't. So third and nine. I like the draw. I like the draw. Good call by the offensive coordinator. So we're going to go with the draw. 
See if we get some of these back. Oh, he's got some space up the middle, and they'll get the first down. Ooh, the draw works so well sometimes in this game. I really like that. And so we got a first and 10 right now. I think we're going to go uh, middle run. Let's see if we can get anything up the middle. Get a few yards here. And we got a flag on a play. Carpenter up the middle. He'll pick up a few. I think that's going to be on the Buccaneers. Offside Tampa Bay. We will uh, accept the penalty and have it first and five. So first penalty of the day on the Buccaneers here in 1981. And it'll be first and five for the Giants on the 28. And we are going to go a long pass. All right, he sims out of the shotgun. Takes a look around. He's under pressure again. He escapes. He throws deep. There's a man down by the goal line, and that's incomplete. Long try there. Johnny Perkins was in the area, but Neil Col Colsey knocked it away. So it's going to be second and five. Uh, I like the short pass. I do like the short pass. Sims under center. Drops quick pass to Gray, and he missed it. Right through his hands, and Ernest Gray couldn't come up with a catch. And so we're going to... Third and five right now. Uh, screen pass. They're going to be playing pass, so we're going to go outside run. See if we can catch them. All right, Buccaneers. Ooh, they got four guys on the line of scrimmage outside to Perry. No, he's forced outside and out of bounds. Good job by the Buccaneer defense, and that's going to set up a field goal try. So we got a 53 chance. It's 56 yards away. That's his, oh, it's his max kick. So I'm kicking. Oh, I'm only kicking. No, I'm only kicking from the 36. So it's only a 36 yard attempt. So field goal, 36 yards attempt. Now I don't know why that would only be 53 percent, even from 36 yards away. That's that seems low. I wonder because I have the, if I have him on the goal line. Let's see. All right, Danello, the kick is up. This one looks good, and I think it is. Wide left. 34 yards away, and it's wide left. Oh, he missed it. Danello missed the kick wide left, and it's the Al Red Sox fan bug is in this game, folks. It really is. So they they march it down, they miss the kick, and so it's going to be Buccaneer ball. I think we're going to go um, we're gonna go run. We're going to go outside run. They like to run, so we're going to go outside, see if we can beat them there. And they're going to go outside run. Equid gets it, and he Second picks up down. a handful. Six yards. Nice job by the Buccaneers. Second down. And we're going to go uh, inside run this time. Hut, hut, hut. And the Buccaneers are going to pass Williams. And he threw it over the head of his receiver, Bell. And it's going to be uh, third down and four right now. So, yeah, we'll, we'll play the screen. We'll play the screen. Williams back to pass. Fires this one, and Giles can't come up with it. It was a whole host of Giants around him there. He was not open. And, oh, Danella was just stinky? Okay. <laughs> I didn't think Danella was that bad, but may maybe he is. All right, normal punt rush here. His Swider is back to kick this away, and he gets this off. And that's a good kick by the Buccaneers. And that'll come down around the 15-yard line, and Bright will make a fair catch. That's what the Giants will take over. We get 225 to go in the first. A 2.19 to go in the first, and it's still 3 nothing Giants. So we will go, uh, yeah, let's go middle run. Let's get the clock moving here a little bit. Sims up the middle to Carpenter. Carpenter, a nice hole, and he'll pick up six or seven. And it'll be second down and somewhat short. Uh, we're going we're gonna to go long pass. Let's see if we can uh, do something here. All right, out of the shotgun. Sims with it now. Sims back to pass. Fires this one deep, and it's caught by Freed. All the way out to the 45-yard line. Again, a 22, and it's going to be second down. Uh, first down. First down. Now, what's great about this game is you can click over from casual level to advanced level, and you can really set your play. Excuse me. That is really, really fun. The only thing is it does take a lot longer, and it's not really fun to watch people do it sometimes because it makes for a long game. So I'm going to stay casual mode right here, but when I play offline, sometimes I go advanced, and I really get into the play, and I send guys in different ways, and it makes it really fun. It really does. Let's go middle run this time. First and 10 from the giant 45. Sims to Carpenter. Carpenter, ooh, tripped up at the line of scrimmage and didn't get much, and that's going to be a second and nine. 56 seconds to go. At the end of the quarter, we will be going back to New York to our studio to check on other games. And uh, that's the one thing about this game. Injury on Tampa Bay. Bill Collar is down. He's got the wind knocked out of him. So let's go, um, let's go short pass. 
All righty, Sims under center. Sims in the blue uniform, finds us in the Carpenter complete. He'll pick up a handful. He's still going to be short, and we got a flag. Offensive holding, so let's back this up. Oh, and so second and long right now, so we're going to have to go medium pass. So Sims back to pass, has time, fires this. Perkins can't come up with it near midfield. And it's going to be third down and very, very long. Um, so we're going to go. We're going to go the. Let's go the draw. Let's just get some yards back, so we can kick it away here. Sims with the draw to Perry, and he gets around the corner, but they snuff that one out. Good defense there by Richard Wood, and I think that'll kill the. And we got to. Okay, this guy's back from his injury, and time will expire on the punt. And that is the end of the first quarter. So at the end of one, we have an exciting game here at Giants Stadium. It's 3 nothing Giants. Total offense for Tampa Bay is 31 yards. <laughs> 126 yards for the Giants. There was a way to see, um, somebody told me where, where you could see the, uh, the drives. And I forget where that was. I like to see the drives as I just look at some of the stats here. But there was a way to look at the, the game drives. Um, oh, highlights. Maybe that's what it is. Highlights. Play by play. Quarter one. Oh, this is every play. There was a way to see drives, and I don't remember what it was. I'll have to go back and find that out. But anyway, so the only uh, score of this game, Joe Danello, a 16-yard field goal here. The hold by Bruner is good, and Danello with that kick, and that's the only, it's good. The only score we got right now. And we go back. Uh, if, we, if we want to, we can go to the studio. So it's the end of the first quarter. Let's take it back to New York here in 1981. And we're going to add all these to our watch list. So as you click on them, it reveals the score. They're all playing exactly the same time as us. So I don't have any late games. I don't have any Monday night games. This way here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Skip. Done. I, I had something wrong. Let's go back. Um, it kind of jumps around after you click. So I scheduled all these to play at the same time as my game. So everyone's playing the same, same time. All right, so here's our scoring there. So each each game is almost at the end of the first quarter. The Packers up 7-3 over the Falcons. Redskins up over the Bills. That's a game I almost played. I almost played Redskins-Bills, but I didn't. Bengals up over the Bears 10-0. Again, this is a fictional schedule. So this everything about this season is just kind of wacky with the goalposts and the schedules. No score in Dallas with the Saints. Chiefs and Chargers is a low-scoring game. A lot of low-scoring games here in the first quarter. Browns up over the Dolphins 7-0. Lions over the Vikings. Rams and Patriots up in Gillette. <laughs> Not Gillette, the Foxborough Stadium. Schaefer Stadium in 81. No score. Jets over the Colts. 49ers having their way with the Raiders in Oakland. Let's check in over there. And what do we got here? So Earl Cooper's got a four-yard run to get the 49ers on the board. As he takes this one here and goes on the left side. He goes right in. Touchdown. And that's... 7 nothing, And then it's going to be Montana going back to pass. And he finds Clark in the corner for a touchdown. And that's how that one is there. That is 14 nothing for the 49ers. Eagles up over the Steelers. Oilers over the Seahawks. How are the Oilers doing against the Seahawks? Let's go, let's go to Seattle. Well, Earl Campbell, 7-yard run as he goes in to put the Oilers up 7 nothing in their snazzy white Jerseys with the blue pants. There's Earl Campbell going in. And then we got Seattle. Jim Zorn we got a flag on a play, and it's a fumble. The Oilers recover. And then I think they're going to go in here again. they got three men in the backfield. Sabler, the quarterback, fires this one, and he's going to connect with Barber. Barber goes in for the touchdown. And that's where we are right now in Seattle. It is 14-0 Oilers. And in other action, Broncos and the Cardinals are tied at 7-7. So let's get back to our game. We are back at Giant Stadium. The score is three to nothing. And I, I love that little whip around thing there. That is so fun. It really is so fun. All right, so the Giants are gonna punt this away, fourth and sixteen. Dave Jennings is back to pass. But Giants now going right to left on your radio dial. 
And the kick comes down to Bell, and Theo Bell will just call the fair catch. So Buccaneer ball, first and 10 on their 16. Um, sure, we'll call it blitz against the runs. There we go. Williams, quick pass. That is knocked down at the line of scrimmage. Mark Haynes get in there. As David C. stops by. Uh, any best bets from Jimmy the Greek this week? Irv Cross? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, was that the good days? Really, wasn't that the good days? It really was. It really was the good days. I want to just go back to Studio B for one second. I do want to check to make sure that uh, I do have the correct microphone going here. Get Roadcaster, okay. Just wanted to double. Don't don't ask me why, but I was just a little paranoid that I didn't have the right microphone. So I, I, I had an update. Every time this software does an update, it kind of messes me up. But anyway... All right, so we're going to, uh, yeah, we'll defend medium pass. That's fine. Defensive coordinator doing a fantastic job today. And a flag on a play. Wilder knocked Penalty. back for a loss. Let's see what's going to be offsides on the Giants. Oh, boy. Not good at all. Yeah, boy. So let's go here. we got a second and five now. Yeah, inside run looks good. Let's bottle them up. Giants trying to stack the line here. Williams, quick pass to Bell. He's got near the first down, and he gets it. And that's a first down on the pass by Williams. 14.41 to go here in the period in half. And let's go um, blitz against the pass. Let's see if we can catch him. Williams under center. Williams. Oh, we got a flag on a play. And another penalty on the Giants. Oh, boy. Um, let's go. Whoa, they got a first and five. We're going to go run. We're going to go outside run. All righty, Williams now. Quick pass. Intercepted, Van Pelt. He's at the 20. He's down to the 17-yard line. Doug Williams, a quick pass, and Brad Van Pelt stepped in the way, and he's going to go down to the 17-yard line, and the Giants are in terrific position here. Not sure if the man fell down on the play or not, but Doug Williams just threw a pick, and this is a big play right now and a big series here for the Giants. Halfback pass? I don't think so. <laughs> we're gonna go inside run. We're gonna we're gonna grind this down here as we go towards the other end of the uh, the field here. Perry up the middle and he's inside the ten. First down. It's first and goal. As uh, no, this is uh, the game. I think the game is out. The game is out. You can get it now and get all your mods and um, and yeah. So this is ready to go. In fact, they've already had a couple of updates. Every time I. Booted up, there's a new update. So they're, uh, they're constantly working on it. So, Jim, yes, grab this game. It is so much fun. All right, first and goal on the five. And we're going to go middle run here. I'll see if we can grind them out here. ID Jester. I'm trying some more Tampa. I'm actually playing as the Giants. I got my Giants hat on. I'm playing as the Giants just so I wouldn't be biased. <laughs> and I am trying to win. All righty. Sims up the middle to Carpenter. Oh, he's tripped up. He's tripped up in the shadow of that goal post. For a two-yard gain, and it's going to be second and goal from the three. Hmm. Let's go. Let's see if we can do the sweep outside run. And again, if you want to go into advanced level, you can really customize your play. It just takes a lot longer. And it's, um, I, I, when I stream, I like to use casual. When I play by myself, I'll, I'll go uh, custom. All righty, Perry on the outside. Perry, can he get around the corner? No, he's flushed out. He's going to lose two yards back to the five. Oh, boy. So third and goal from the five is the sweep didn't work. They're calling a draw play. I don't know if I want to call a draw from the five. I think I'm going to play it safe. I know. I'm going to go inside run. I'm going to play it safe because I don't want to cough this up. We already missed one field goal. I don't want. I, I want to get on the board here. I want to get some more points. All right, so up the middle, Perry, and that's about what I expected. So I gained a yard, so we're going to have to go field goal here. 80% chance. It's going to be an 11-yard kick, and it is through, and that should be good. And it is. So an 11-yard field goal by Danello, and it is now 6 nothing for the Giants. Danello will kick off. I do like how they alternate uh, right and left in this game. It really does simulate a TV broadcast. And that's through the uprights and out of the end zone. So good kick by Danello. And that is that. So Tampa Bay will start on the 20-yard line. Um, I think I'm going to go outside run. They like to run to the outside. 
It's going to be another pass. I guess wrong. And tipped off the hands of Giles. Jimmy Giles is standing there all by himself. Let's look at this again. Watch Giles, 88. He comes out the tight end. He stops. Little button hook there. And it just overthrew him. He was wide open on the play. All right, so we're going to go short pass this time. As it's second and 10. Williams out of the shotgun. He's in trouble, and he goes down. Gary Jeter on the sack. That's a six-yard loss. And, oh, boy, uh, Curtis McGriff, the crime dog, is injured on the play. So we're going to defend long passes on third and 16. Williams, plenty of time. Is this one out, and that's incomplete near the 30-yard line. Oh, yeah, Kick, kickoffs don't count as field goals. Yeah, if you put it through the uprights, it's, it's, it's good for you. It's an attaboy, but there's no point scored. Not on a kickoff or a punt. Drop kick, that's a different story. They should put the drop kick in here. That'd be awesome. I think we asked them that the last time in episode was at 56. I said, you're going to put the drop kick in, and they never did. So it'd be fun to have the drop kick go in here. All righty, so it's going to be fourth down. Uh, normal rush for the Giants here. His back to kick is, oh, he's standing right in the shadow of the goalpost. Swider is going to kick this one away. Short kick, and they'll get it to midfield. It's a good field position. Actually, decent punt, 40-yard punt, and Bright will bring that in to Buccaneer territory. Let's go inside run. Let's get some yards here. 10.43 to go. Very boring game here in 1981. Perry up the middle, and Perry will pick up 11 yards, and that's a first down for the Giants. So they're on the Tampa Bay 38. I think I'm going to go screen. I don't know why. You want to go screen pass here. All righty. So it's going to be Sims back to pass. Throws it to Gray on his quick screen, and he's going to pick up a whole bunch of yards inside the 20. Oh, boy. Down to the 17. Let's see that one again. That was a fun little. That was fast. Sims quick out to Gray. He beats a couple of dudes there for the Buccaneers, and he's down to the 17, so a good call there. As, uh, Doug Flutie only does drop kicks. Yep. Yep, that was a fun one. I remember watching that. Let's go inside run this time. All righty, so Sims under center. Carpenter with a carry. He'll pick up a few as they inch closer to that goal line. And Uh-oh, so uh, McGriff, the crime dog, is back. He's, uh, he's doing okay. Let's go outside run. They've been snuffing out the outside run. We're going to try it again, though. Carpenter on the sweep, and this time he turns a corner, and he'll get a couple. And so now we got a third and five on the Tampa Bay 12. Hmm. Yeah, let's go draw. I like the draw. Draw's nice and safe. I like to play safe. Draw to Perry up the middle. He'll pick up the first down. First and goal for the Giants on the draw. I'm going to go short pass. I'm going to try to catch him napping here in a short pass. Here we go. All righty. Sims under center. Quick pass to the side. That's caught. As Gary Shirk hauls that in for five. And it's going to be second and goal on the Tampa Bay two. Giants driving here. They lead 6-0. It's 1981 opening week. All the other games have been simulated. And we'll check in at halftime to see how they're doing. Yes, middle run. Can we pound it in? A lot of beef in the middle there. Perry up the middle. No, he is stuffed. No gain. It's going to be third and goal. Uh, no, we're not going to go short pass. We're going to run this. We're going to inside run. Carpenter going to try to pound this in. Buccaneers stacking it up. Carpenter can't get in. The Buccaneer defense doing their J-O-B, as Al likes to say. And Dave Logan... Makes the, makes the tackle, and so we're going to have to go field goal here. If it was a little closer, I'd go for it. Um, but we're going we're gonna to go for the field goal here. All right, another 11-yard kick by Danello. Flag on a play. The kick is up, and the kick is it's good. good. But let's check the play. Oh, we got a penalty. Illegal procedure. Illegal procedure. So we're going to back oh. us up. So the field goal now is going to be more like, th oh, instead of 11, it's going to be, what, 16 yards? Here we go. A little bit better of an angle, so he's just got to do it again. Another flag on the play. Holy guacamole, the Giants. Uh, two illegal procedures here. Now we're <laughs> looking at a longer field goal. Holy cow. <clears throat> wait, 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 wait. Hold on. No, we're not going to go medium pass. Let's just kick the field goal here. What are we doing? What are we doing? Why did they switch that over? Let's kick the field goal. Still, it's only 21 yards. Danello's kick almost blocked. 
And for the third, and it's wide left. A 21-yard field goal by Danello after he hit the first two, and we got a legal procedure penalties. Danello has missed another short kick, and he has missed two out of three today. Or two out of four. Holy cow. Let's check the stats. Let's let's check our kicking stats. <laughs> Joe Danello has missed half. He's hitting 50%. As long as 16. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Unbelievable. I would unsub too after all these missed field goals. Uh, how's the computer coach in this game? It's fine. I'm having fun with it. Uh... Yeah, huge defensive stand, David. Yeah, Jeff. I don't know. I mean, it's. I I, I just have some fun with it. I I just. I I've I've haven't known as anything terrible. I mean, is it perfect? No, but I I. This is really fun. It is really really fun. All right, so Tampa Bay with the ball on the twenty yard line. Now we're gonna we're gonna defend a medium pass. I, I got a funny feeling they're gonna try to. Trying to do something right on par. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Defending the medium pass and that's incomplete. Second down. Uh, so I think um, I think uh, game stats turnovers. Yeah, two turnovers by Tampa Bay. They got an interception. And I I think a fumble. I think too. I'm not sure. Let's go. What do my highlights say? We got interception. Oh, two interceptions. Okay, and we're just missing field goals left and right. Look at this. Missed field goal, 34 yards. Missed field goal, 21 yards. It is just fantastic. Uh, yeah, we'll go inside run. Boy, another flag. Dead ball foul. Delay a game. So back him up now. Second and 15. So, yeah, we'll defend the medium pass. And Williams, a little draw to Eckwood up the middle. He'll pick up a few, get back to the original line of scrimmage. It's going to set up a third and 10. So we're going to defend the medium pass still. Oh, yeah, the mods are great in this game. And it's just it, it just adds the color and the logos and just the stadiums. It just It really is so immersive. It's not even funny. Uh, Williams back to pass, fires this one off the hands of Bell, and that hits the carpet, and it's going to be fourth down. What I really like, too, is I like all the editing you can do. Uh, we'll go normal rush here. Like, I made the players a little bit bigger so I can see the logos on the helmet a little bit better, and, and just I just think it looks a little bit better than um, the small guys. Garrett with a nice return. Garrett on his horse inside the 40 of the Buccaneers. An 18-yard return, and the Giants knocking on the door again, but with Danello kicking so bad, we're not sure what to do. Um, we're going to go draw play here on first down. Sims, back to pass. A little give to Carpenter. Carpenter will pick up a few, and he'll be happy with that. Um, there's a lot of penalties on kicking plays. At least in my game there has been. The Giants, that, that guy on the left side just kept moving. All right, let's go short pass. All right, so we got a second and seven now. Giants going right to left. Another flag on the bucket in the air. So each team having some problems there. We got a second and two. So we're going to go long pass on a second and two. Yeah, field goal chance. I don't think so. Sims going deep into the corner to Gray. Gray has it down by the five. Call it to six. It's a 25 yard pass and catch from Sims to Gray. And the Giants, once again, knocking on the door. They should be up 12 nothing. They've had four trips here down to the red zone. Let's go um, let's go inside run. Can we pound it in? The Buccaneer defense has been solid. And another flag. Holy cow. Flag happy. What is the call? Offsides Tampa Bay. We'll take it. So we're going to move it down to the three. And now we're going to go um, middle run. Here we go. Can we pound it in up the middle? Carpenter is in for the score. Touchdown. Almost hit the little cushion there, and Carpenter goes in for the score. And finally, they get it over the goal line, and it's now 12 to nothing. And Danello coming in for this extra point. It's a nine-yard extra point, maybe eight yards. Danello's kick is up, and that one is good. 13 nothing now, and we're going to kick this one deep. Bucks offense taking the day off. Uh, yeah, they just can't get anything going here. The Giants defense is really good. And again, this I don't know if they played in 81. 
as Owens brings it up to the 24-yard line. Again, I'm using a fictional schedule. Fictitious schedule? Fictional schedule. And uh, goalposts on the goal line. Just, just to have some fun with this season. Because that's what you can do in this game is have a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, we'll defend the medium pass. Williams. No, outside Equid. Equid's going to pick up a couple. Good job by the defense on that one as we were back in the nickel. Second and seven. We're going to go uh, short pass. I want to have some kind of pass coverage here. Williams going to keep it himself. And Williams, a nice little bootleg off to the right for 10 yards. And that's a first down. Tacked by Beasley Reese. We're going to defend the short pass again. Coming up on the two-minute warning. Williams two is going to let warning. that tick down to the two-minute warning. And the Buccaneers will have it. First and 10 on their own 37-yard line. You check the stats. Buccaneers only 48 yards of total offense. The Giants, between those two interceptions, are just grinding it out. They've done a good job, the Giant defense. Williams back to pass. A lot of bodies back there. Intercepted by Carson. It is the third interception of the first half. And Doug Williams is having a horrible day. Let's go to our stats. Where's Williams here? Passing. Doug Williams, 2 for 12 with three interceptions in this game. It has just been an absolute nightmare for the Buccaneer quarterback. So we're going to go uh, outside run. See if we can get some yards here. Carpenter on the outside. He'll pick up 10. He'll pick up 13 yards. Call it 14. And a terrific gain as they move into field goal range, which we know could be anywhere. Uh, we're going to go uh, inside run this time. Sims with a handoff. Carpenter will pick up a few. And he'll get down to the 25. Minute 12 to go. Second and seven on the 26. And where's my timeout? Where's my timeout? I want to call a timeout. We're going to call it. Can we just what you do? Timeout? I'll manage clock. Um, call a timeout immediately. Yeah, let's call a timeout. All right, so we're going to call a timeout here. And let's kind of take a look at things right now. So we've got a second and seven on the Tampa Bay 26, and Sims wants to talk this one over. He has completed more passes to the Giants. You are correct. He's completed more passes to the Giants. Um, second and seven. Yeah, I like the screen pass here. I know that was suggested earlier, but I do like the screen pass here. All right, second and seven on the 26. Uh, Sims dumps it off to Carpenter, and he will get... Pushed out of bounds, I believe. Down near the 22, so it's going to set up a third and three. The clock is stopped. Um, third and three. I'm going to go with another draw. See if I can catch anybody sleeping here. Perry up the middle. They were waiting for it, and he stopped short. So it's a fourth and one at the 20. That's going to be about a 27-yard 20, 20, attempt. And we're going to, we're, we got to kick it here. We really do. We, we got to give Danello a chance for crying out loud. I can, I can make that one. 20, I can hit a 30-yard field goal. At least I did in the past. That's, that's, my, that's my length <laughs> when I was a kid. All righty. Danello hut, hut, hut. from 28. The kick is up. Wide left. And the kick is wide left. Danello is two for five on field goals. Al, Red Sox fan, move over. Move over, Al. This, this, Al, is, Al shows up. Of course Al shows up. We have missed. Let's go here. Let's go to my stats. Let's go to the Giants. And let's look at Danello. He is two for five on field goals today. He's 40%. That's what's going on here. So 20 seconds left. We're going to play uh, medium pass. And Williams is going to come out throwing here to hit House. House has it. House is on his horse. House to the 45, to the 40, to the 37, and he's hauled down. And the Buccaneers getting things going. They call a timeout with nine seconds left, and they're going to try a field goal. Holy cow. So we're going to go. We're going to put on a heavy rush here. As Dave Capice comes in to try the field goal. 97% chance for Capice, who was never a good kicker. Uh, but because the goalposts are on the goal line, he has a chance. It's 46 yards out. Can the Bucks get on the board? 
Capice hits this one. It's headed down the middle, and this one appears to be good. It's good. And the kick is good, so the Buccaneers take advantage of the missed Danello kick, and in one play, they go down, and they get it close enough for a field goal. And they get on the board. It's 13-3, to so not the way the Giants won to end up the first half. And it's going to be Bright with it now. Bright is tackled at about the 24, and that should do it in the first half. So... We play two. It is 13 to 3 Giants. Let's take a look how we got here. So we got a couple of Danello field goals, but we've also had some missed ones. Let's take a look at some of the missed field goals here. This one from 34 yards. As Danello sends this one off to the right. And that's no good. Oh, it says left. Okay. Uh, and let's take a look at uh, another Danello missed a field goal. 21 yards away. Danello. He's going to shank this one as well. Looks like the Cincinnati kicker from yesterday. So that's no good. And then here from 27 yards, Danello on the center of the field is going to miss this one. So that's just how it goes. Yeah, we need another kicker here. And then uh, a nice play here by Capice to get on the ball. Oh, they don't have that Tampa Bay um, long, long play. That was a nice one there. So it's but Capice from 46 yards for the Buccaneers up near midfield. He's got no problem with this one here. Dropping that through. And just it's like good. that, the Buccaneers are on the board. So it's 13 to 3. Here, and we'll go, we'll go back to New York right after this kickoff and let's get some of the scores as we whip around the league here in week one of 1981. And that's going to be a touchback by Owens. Touchback. And he will sit down. All right, so let's go back to the studio now. Let's check on some of the scores. So right near the half, it's the Packers up on the Falcons, 14-10. Bills coming back on the Redskins. They lead this one 21-17 in Buffalo. Bengals over the Bears, 17-0. Cowboys finally on the board as they got some points over there against the Saints at home. It's 7-0. Chargers over the Chiefs. Dolphins, 21-7 over the Browns. Lions and the Vikings got a good one in Minnesota. It is 21-21. The Rams up over the Patriots, 10-3. Let's go check in on that game right there. As it was a, uh, a one-yard TD run here by Wendell Tyler. And that was the only touchdown of the game in New England. As the Rams lead that one, 10-3. Jets up over the Colts. The 49ers having their way with the Raiders. Last time we checked in, they had two touchdowns. Now they have another one here. And it's going to be a long pass here at the, uh, at the gun. At the half, Montana going back to pass, and he unloads this one, and he's got his receiver right down at the goal line, Freddie Solomon, and uh, basically a Hail Mary to end the half there in Oakland as San Francisco leads that one, 21-9. Eagles crushing the Steelers, 21-0. Seahawks have come back. They were trailing big against the Oilers, but now it's 17-14, and the Broncos and the Cardinals. 14-13. Uh, let's go over here. Let's see what happened to the Broncos and the Cardinals here. Uh, let me see. A um, couple of field goals by the Cardinals and a uh, three-yard pass. Jim Hart. I always like Jim Hart. Jim Hart with a nice pass here to Marsh. Touchdown. And that's a touch. Oh, look at that little little um, thing over here. That's awesome. The little cart. The Cardinal cart. That was awesome. Craig Morton. He's in trouble, but he's going to find Reed for a touchdown there for the Broncos. As they're battling in St. Louis, and we'll check back at the end of the third quarter, and we'll go back to the studio. That is so fun. I love that. I do. I, I really do. All righty. So, uh, Fainer stops by. You're on your 2021 play of the Bengals. You're two and one through three games. Okay. Let's see if we can get in the Super Bowl, right? All righty. So, Tampa Bay with the ball. And we will play uh, We'll play short pass. Kind of the safe play. Williams back to pass. Incomplete. Williams, incidentally, we take a look at the stats for Doug Williams. He's 3 for 14 with three interceptions. And somehow he only trails 13 to 3. And, yeah, we'll blitz against the run. Let's see if we can get a blitz going here. And flag on the play. Every time I try to blitz, there's a flag. So no more blitzing for the Giants. Second and five. We're going to go uh, outside run. See if they're going to give it to Equid on the outside. 
Yes, they do. No, Williams with a keeper. He picks up a few, and it's going to be third and two now. No, we're not going to blitz against runs. Focus on the inside run. See if we can bottle him up here. Williams. Actually, he's going to quick pass it to House, and House will get the first down. That's a first down. And a flag on the play. Holding on Tampa Bay, and it's going to back him up. Mistakes, mistakes, mistakes. What are the um penalties here? Five for 28, eight for 50. The Giants with eight penalties in this game already. <laughs> it's, it's the 80s, folks. Third and 12. Yeah, medium pass defense. Carson Kelly Flowers drop back into coverage, and that's going to be incomplete. And the Buccaneers are faced with fourth and 12, and they will kick this one away. Swider back at the two. Gets his foot into it. And that carries out over midfield. Bright has it. He'll get it to midfield, and that's about it. You haven't tried expert mode? Expert mode is really fun. It really is. You just click over here, and you can change the formations. You can change strong left, play action, call a play, who you want to pass to. It is really, it is really, really fun. It's But just... You can really get carried away, and you can really, you can take like three or four minutes before each play designing a play. So take care, ID. Thanks for coming by. Um, we're gonna go long pass. First and ten. We're gonna go long pass. Sims out of the shotgun goes back to. He's in some trouble. Here's this out deep, and it's overthrown. Johnny Perkins was there, but Sims overthrew him, and it's gonna be second down. I'm going to go medium pass. Sims from midfield. Going right to left. Fires a swan. Caught by Freed. And Freed with 15 yards in the first down. And another flag. And it's holding on the Giants. And it's going to be second and 20. Unbelievable. The flags in this game are just driving the fans crazy. Giants have been flagged nine times. Sims... And he can't find Gray at midfield on the original line of scrimmage, near the original line of scrimmage. Now we got a third and 20. And, yeah, we're just going to go just a screen pass. We've got to get somebody's back here. So Sims back to pass to Gray, and they flush that one out, and it's going to be third and forever, uh, fourth and forever now. And we're going to have to punt this one away. Well, the Steelers gave you trouble, but you beat them in overtime. Well, uh, you didn't do that yesterday. <laughs> Field goal kickers. All right, Jennings is going to kick this one away. Dave Jennings gets a foot into this one. Good kick. It's going to be fielded inside the 10. That's going to be a fair catch. So the Buccaneers, again, with lousy field position. And we're going to go uh, We're gonna go run defense. We're going to go uh, inside run. Williams, uh-oh, back to pass. We're in some trouble here. Williams caught by Giles. First down. First down. 15 yards. On the pitch and catch. Uh, do I dare blitz? Every time I blitz, we get we get a penalty. Hut, hut, hut. And this time, Eckwood's on the outside. Ooh, a loss. One yard loss. Bill Neal coming over, making the play. Uh, we're going to go defend medium pass this time. Hut, hut, Williams, hut. back to pass. It's in trouble. It's a screen over to Wilder. And Wilder will get a few yards, six yards. And now it's going to be third and five. Eckwood is down. And so Ricky Bell is coming in for Eckwood. So, yeah, we'll defend short pass. That's fine. Short pass. And Bell with a draw, but they stuff him. And it's going to be a fourth down right now. Not first down, it's a fourth down. So they will have to punt this one away at their own 34-yard line so the Giants will get the ball back. Swider. Kicks this one for the Buccaneers in their white jerseys. This one's going to go out of bounds, about the 25, 26-yard line. Good kick there, not the 41-yard kick, and that's where Sims will take over. So at the 25-yard line, it's first and 10. We're going to go inside run. Sounds good to me. And Carpenter with it, and he's stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Cecil Johnson with the tackle, and it's second and nine right now. Um... A little screen pass. All right, Sims. Back to pass. Dumps us off to Shirk. Shirk will pick up a handful on the screen. He'll get six, so it's going to be a third and three. And we're going to go outside run. That's what we're going to do. Did I get the USFL mods? Uh, no, I didn't. I only installed uh, the 80s. 
Um, I'm still trying to figure out how much space I have. I'm trying to clear space in my hard drive um, for this game. That's the one unfortunate thing about this game is that it does go on the hard drive, on the C drive, and I don't have a lot of room left. So um, I'm limited to what I can do. So I'm going to play a lot of 80s NFL, and eventually I will work some things out. Outside run on the third and three. Can they catch the Buccaneers playing pass? Carpenter has some space. First down to the 40-yard line. Gain of eight. And the Giants roll along here. Let's talk about stats. The Giants right now with 259 yards of offense. Okay, I like that. Uh, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go middle run this time, right up the middle. And nothing doing. Buccaneers stomped out when it's a one yard loss. Dave Logan again for the Buccaneers. I think we can go um, medium pass here. Second and eleven. Sims under center goes back. Medium pass incomplete. Boy, the Buccaneers are waiting for that one. Oh, they call the run, but they had a lot of guys back. Third and 11. We're going to go outside run. Hut, hut, hut. And Perry on the right side. Trying to get to that first down marker, but he's going to be just short. And call it fourth and three, so we're going to kick this one away. Hut, hut, hut. Dave Jennings back. He will launch this one. Trying to pin the Buccaneers deep again, and he does inside the 10. <clears throat> Buccaneers have had a lousy field position. There was a way to show the drives. I don't know if it was highlights or what it was. There was a way to show, like, where they started the drives. I'm going to have to find that out. Someone told me, and now I forget where that was. So anyway, so... All right, no, we're not going to blitz against the pass. We'll just play short pass here. All right, Williams, ah, the shotgun. He's in his own end zone. He fires this one deep and over the head of Giles. And it's going to be second and ten right now. Uh, we're going to go medium pass this time because I think they're, they're going to be coming for us. And flag on the play. I'm trying to see. I'm checking my notes here where I can. I like looking at the drives. And I think it was... um. Mike told me where I could find them. Delay, Delay a game. Oh, boy. Another penalty here. And they are in some, some deep, deep trouble here. Third, uh, second and 13. No, we're going to go um, we're gonna go medium pass. We want to keep everything in front of us. So Williams, back to pass in his own end zone, fires this one out to House. Incomplete. Good coverage. By the Giants, and it's going to be second, uh, third and 13 now from their own four. So we're going to go medium pass. Medium pass. Williams, the throw again. William in trouble, sacked, and it's a safety. Harry Carson gets him for the safety. It's not a walk-off safety, but it's a safety. Coming in on the blitz. Williams never saw him, and he goes down. And so it's now 15 to 3. <clears throat> oh, you're at the gym, SD. Cool. Yeah, I listen a lot at the gym myself. So it, it's a fun place to listen to, to, to stuff like this. All righty. So we're just going to um, take the kick. The Buccaneers are going to kick the free kick from the 20. And it's going to be Garrett on the sideline to the 40, to the 50, to the 45, down to 45, 44-yard line of the Buccaneers. Alvin Garrett taking that free kick. And the Giants looking to strike again. I'd like to see the average field position. I really would like to see the um, – got to find out how, where to find the drives. Is it stats? New York. It was, I'm pretty sure it was in highlights. Where you could find oh maybe replays? No, maybe not. I gotta find out where it was. I thought it was somebody told me it was in highlights. And you could find I like to like seeing like where you started each drive. So I'll I'll find that. I won't waste any more time on that. I'm sorry. All right, so we're gonna go um we need to get this clock moving here. So we're gonna go running play, we're gonna inside run. If anybody knows that's watching right now, if anybody knows where you can find the drives, like you know where you started and how you drives in. Let me know. Someone told me that, and I and I forget where it is now, and I can't find it. Uh, yes, this game is phenomenal. It is, and the the mods make this so immersive. 
All right, I got a two-yard gain here, second and eight. I just want to keep this clock moving here. So I'm going to go uh, inside run again. And Carpenter. Oh, he's tripped up. He almost broke that one. He went for four, and that's going to be third and four. He was tripped up at the last second. We're going to go um, inside run again. I just want this clock to move. And Sims now to Carpenter, and he is near a first down. They're going to measure, and they're going to give it to him. First down. That's a first down. So the Giants getting it done on the ground. We're going to go middle run this time. Just grinding out this clock. I know it's third quarter. Carpenter up the middle. He'll pick up a few. So we're going to try to wear down this Buccaneer defense as Logan makes the tackle. Carpenter for three. Um... Maybe we'll try a draw. Maybe, maybe think they were going to pass here. Sims with the draw to Carpenter. They catch him sleeping, and he's up the middle. And that's a first down after a 12-yard gain by Rob Carpenter. And they continue to pound the ball. We're going to go middle run this time. Oh, Carpenter's tired, so we're going to bring him out. Um, and Bright will come in. Brighto. And Sims to Bright, Bright up the middle. We'll pick up a few, three yards. Second and seven. Gobbling up this clock. We're going to go inside run this time. Sims to Bright, Bright gets over the line of scrimmage and nothing doing there. So it's going to be third and seven. Clock's still running here. Well, we got Danello who, who sucks. We're going to go short pass. Um, no, we're going to go screen pass. We're going to go screen pass. All right, Sims. Back to pass. Dumps this off quickly to Bright. Bright over to 10 to the 5. Oh, he's down to the 2-yard line. Maybe the 1. Go to the bottom right three dots. Click on. Okay, thank you. Let's see this one again. It was 3rd and 7. And Sims swings this one out to the running back. And Bright, who just came in... Takes it all the way down to the two. The Buccaneers were not, not looking at that there. So let's go to the highlights and the three dots, the three dots, the three dots, three dots. What was it? All right, I'm trying to find that. Go to the bottom right, three dots, click it. Bottom right, three dots, click it. Stats? York. Not seeing the three dots, Al. All right, let's, um, let's, let's rest him. So Carpenter comes back in. Bottom right. So I got the this. No. Looking for three dots on the right. I'm not seeing bottom right three dots and click on it. I'm not seeing that. So if I go to stats and game stats, I'm still not three seeing three dots. I got menu. I don't think I want to go to menu. Right, we'll still find that. Alright, so we're gonna go middle run. Carpenter back in the game. Giants trying to put the Buccaneers away here. Sims keeps it himself. And no gain. So it's going to be second and goal. We're going to go uh, inside run this time. Looking for Carpenter here. And Carpenter goes in for the score. And the Giants are now really taking it to the Buccaneers who can't get anything going here. It's a two-yard run. <clears throat> it's the top of the blue and white circle. Right, I'll check that one out. All righty. So... We're going to go with the, uh, the extra point here by Danello, who's struggling today. <clears throat> Danello's kick it's is good. good. And so it's 22-3 to three here in New York as we're almost through three quarters. <clears throat> Danello will kick this one off. And that's coming down for a touchback. And the Buccaneers will start at the 20-yard line. All righty, so on the play calling screen, at the top blue and white circle, would that be this? No. This? Options, settings, full play-by-play, -play. game stats, season stats. Well, maybe this is the one here. So we want full game play-by-play. -play. Yeah, see, I found that, but I, I, it doesn't say, like, what happened on the drive. <clears throat> Current situation. Okay. Um, game stats, season stats, achievement reports, scouting reports. Hmm. 
Yeah, so I'm clicking on that. And the current situation, previous play, full game play, game stats. It's not showing me the drives. So I'll have to kick, I'll have to kick around with that. All right, so Tampa Bay there. We're going to go defend long pass. That sounds good. Buccaneers here, late in the third quarter. A little give to Eckwood. He's forced out, and he will pick up four on the play. And now we're going to defend against uh, medium pass. But it's going to be playing very safe right now. All right, Buccaneers. Williams fires this one. Incomplete. They just can't get anything going. Another flag on the play. Holding on Tampa. And, yeah, we'll back them up. We'll back them up. Oh, it'd be in full play-by-play? -play? Okay, I'll check that out in a minute. All right, so we're gonna, no, we're going to defend a uh, long pass now in second and 16. Williams back to pass, caught by Giles. Short gain back to the original line of scrimmage. It's going to bring up uh, third and eight after the spot. We're going to go uh, medium pass. And it's going to be the end of the third quarter. So at the end of three... It is not looking good here. So if you go to full game play by play, quarter one. Yeah, it shows you every play. But it would be kind of cool just to see, like, you know, Tampa Bay starts at the 15, three plays, blah, 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 blah. It's in there somewhere, I think. All right, let's go to the studio as we check back in. Through three quarters, Pack is up over the Falcons. Bills clinging to a four-point lead at home over the Redskins. Let's check in on the Bills game, shall we? So what happened over here? What was the last score over there? Joe Theismann, a five-yard run to cut the lead to four. As up in Buffalo, the Redskins looking to come back. Bengals still over the Bears, 17 to nothing. Let's go to Soldier Field. And it's going to be Ken Anderson with an eight-yard pass. Bengals in their white jerseys in their uh, Bengal helmets. Curtis in the corner there. Nice play. And it's all Cincinnati in Chicago. Cowboys shutting out the Saints. Butch Johnson, a 25-yard pass from Danny White. That was the first score of the game. As he outraces the defense there. And the Cowboys having their way with the Saints. They lead that one 10 to nothing. Chargers have taken a lead over the Chiefs. As we look here, Chuck Muncie, it was a nine-yard TD run. Fouts out of the shotgun. A little give to Muncie, and he cuts back in for the score. Touchdown. And San Diego, although they've come back, Joe Delaney on a four-yard run has cut that lead. And Delaney goes up the middle. Touchdown. And that's where we stand there. This game is now... Well, where are we? Uh, 20 to 16 charges. Dolphins over the Browns. Lions and the Vikings having a good one. And the Patriots have come back to tie the Rams at 17. Don Hasselback taking a 30 yard pass from Steve Grogan. Grogan going back, heaving this one deep, and Hasselback with the catch. And he goes in to score in Foxborough. And the Patriots have tied the Rams at 17. 49 is still clubbing the Raiders. Jets over to Colts, Eagles over to Steelers, Oilers now up 19-14 as we check back in up in uh, Seattle. And it was a safety. It was 17-14. And Jim Zorn going back to pass, and he is swarmed under in the end zone. And that's going to be two points for the, I was going to say the arrows, <laughs> the Oilers. And they lead that one there. Broncos and the Cardinals tied at 20. Let's check in and see what happened over there. Roy Green getting that 34-yard pass from Jim Hart. And we got a good one in St. Louis. So let's go back to Giant Stadium. And we'll finish out the game. <clears throat> Too bad we couldn't switch to another game because this is kind of a... A boring game. Third and eight for Tampa Bay on their own 22. We're going to go medium pass here. Buccaneers now going right to left on your radio dial. Williams, long pass. The house, that's incomplete. And the Buccaneers are going to have to kick it away. Fourth and eight.
Swider back at the five. Swider will kick this one away. And that's going to come down inside the 30 to Bright. Bright with a nice return up to the 42. The studio is cool. Yeah, it is really cool. And a Super Bowl tournament stop by. Hey, he may have, he's the guy to ask. Super Bowl tournament. Where is the... Um, is there a way to find the drives? I think you had told me that before. Like, where can I find it? it does the, are the drives laid out? Can I see, like, here's, here's where the Giants started the drive, and here's where it ended, how many plays, and here's where the Buccaneers started. Is that in there? I, I tried to find it, and I couldn't find the drives. Um, so I, I don't know. I think you told me that before, but I, excuse me, I honestly forget um, where, where the drives are. Or if they're in there, I thought they were in there. So, um, so I don't know if you know, uh, if Mike, if you know where that is, or if it's not in there. I thought you told me, and I, I just, I forgot. All right, so the Giants with the ball. We're gonna go inside run. We want to keep this clock moving. So we go inside run as we start the fourth quarter. All Giants. Carpenter goes for four yards, a three yards, second and seven. If we check our uh, uh, highlights here. Uh, Joe Danello, who's had an awful day, started things off with a 16-yard field goal. Then he missed one. <laughs> and then after an interception, he hit one. So he was two for three, and it was six to nothing. Then he missed one. So now he's two for four. Eventually, uh, Carpenter carried it over the goal line, and it was 13 nothing Giants. Uh, then Danello missed another field goal. And then right before the half, Bill Capice showing him how it's done, a 46-yard field goal to get the... Um, the uh, the Buccaneers on the board. In the third quarter, uh, the uh, he was tackled in the end zone for a safety. That made it 15-3. And then Carpenter with another run here. And that's where we stand here, 22-3. to three. Uh, We're going to go middle run. That sounds good on second and seven. Uh, okay, so play-by-play -play can be generated as a text file and drive summary as well. Okay, so... How would I do that? I don't know if you could type that in or not on YouTube, but I'm trying to find out, like, where the drive summary is, and I'm not finding it, and I don't want to take up too much more time here in front of a festival crowd. We're going to go outside run. I know that might kill the clock here, but we're going to see if we can get something going here on the outside. Copper on the outside. He'll pick up a handful, maybe five, grinding it out here. Let's go, um, let's go draw play this time. Pretend we're going to go for a pass here. All right, Sims. With a draw to Carpenter, and they snuffed that one out just for a couple yards. Yeah, no, I, I see the current drive progress. So the current drive is over here, but I didn't know if, if there was a, um, a cumulative drive summary where I could see, like, wh like starting position, because Buccaneers have had terrible field position, and I'd like to know, like, where they started their drives compared to the Giants. So I didn't know if that was in here at all. But Al just posted the... Uh, the link to the mods for this game. Yeah, so if you're looking for the mods, look, check the chat. That's where you get the mods, and they're, they're super fun, super easy to put in. All right, so let's go um, let's go middle run this time. We're going to give it the – hopefully get it to the fullback here. And up the middle, Bright's going to pick up the first down. And the Giants keep on rolling here. All righty. Look on the play selection screen when the drive starts to show you the common drive progress. Yeah, that I got. Center left. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see that. Um, but if I click here, I get the play by play. And I get the current situation, the previous play, but I'm not seeing like where the drives would be. Like, you know what I mean? Quarter one, Tampa Bay starts from here. And they, they three plays and out. You know what I mean? Things like that. Not a big deal, but I just didn't know if it was there because I, I just like stats. All righty. So we're going to go. Um, we're going to mix it up here with a short pass. Let's see if we can catch him sleeping here. All right, Sims, back to pass. Fires this one. Incomplete. And the clock will stop. I wanted the clock to run, but... All right, so now we're going to go uh, inside run on second and 10. Get the clock moving again. From the 35 at Tampa Bay. Bright wrapped up at the line of scrimmage. Tampa Bay knows they're trying to grind out this clock here. So we're going to go screen pass. On third and ten, the gray. Gray picks up a few. He gets it down to about the 30-yard line. And we're going to bring in Danello. Um, you can post post game. Okay. There's an option between quarter. Okay, yeah, I'll have to check that out. 
Well, we, we can talk offline, too, about trying to find that so I can show that off. I'm just trying to show off the things in the game. We're going to kick the field goal. 40 yards out, maybe 39. Danello. Danello, who is absolutely horrible today. He's two for five. We're going to give him a chance to redeem himself. So Danello is going to come in for the field goal to try to make it 25 to three. Danello from 37. The kick is up. And it it's is good. good. 37 yards. Pop the champagne. He is now 50% on field goals today. That is so good. That is so good. All righty. So here comes the kickoff now. Buccaneers in a world of trouble here in New York. And another long kickoff by Danello. And that'll be a touchback. All righty. Yeah, we'll go blitz against the Patches. Why not? We can really open this thing up on defense now. Williams back to pass. Oh, he just gets it away. And House with a catch. And a first down. 14 yards. Uh, we're going to defend medium passes here. We know they're going to come out. And Williams fires this one. Bell can't get that one. That's incomplete. Let's check the uh, the stats for Tampa Bay. Not good. Williams 7 of 23 with two sacks and three interceptions. So he's thrown four more passes to his own team than he has to the Giants. <laughs> we'll defend the short pass. Williams going right to left in the white jerseys. Incomplete. The Giants had that red all the way. Jimmy Giles would cover. Good coverage. Uh, oh, it's hard to see the manual. Oh, okay. I, I made the players bigger. I love the bigger players, so that's what I did. So hopefully you can see the players a little bit better. And the logos look gorgeous. Williams back to pass. Plenty of time. Here's this one out deep, and that is incomplete. And the Buccaneers now are looking at fourth and long. And they're going to go for it. The Buccaneers are going to go for it here. And we're going to defend a medium pass. Tampa Bay with nothing else to lose here. Trailing 25-3 to in their own 34-yard line. They need a first down. Williams fires over the middle, and that's incomplete. Take care, Al. Thanks for coming by. And so the Giants have the ball now on the, the turnover of downs. And they're going to try to grind it out again here. Sims keeps it himself and picks up a few yards. Kind of dangerous to do up by 22 here in the fourth quarter. I'm going to go another middle run. Sims with another keeper. And he'll go for two yards. 8.44 to play. I think we're going to take Sims out. And we're going to put in Scott Bruner. We don't want Sims getting hurt. <laughs> Ron would never forgive me. All right. Bruner in the game now. Hands it off to Bright. Bright tackle off behind the line. And it's going to be fourth and three from the 27. And here comes Danello. And they're actually cheering him in New York because he's hit three out of six field goals. Trying to hit another one from 34. Danello from the hash mark. And he punches this one. <laughs> and it goes to the right. And he missed it. <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. Joe Danello is our star of the game. He's three for seven on field goals, folks. You can't make this up. You can't make this up. This is great. Thanks for coming by, Jeff and uh, Al. And, uh, yeah, this is this is fun. I'm having fun with this. I know it's a blowout, but you just make the best of it. All right, Williams, back to pass. Over the middle, caught by Giles. And he gets out over the 40-yard line, and Tampa Bay finally moving the ball. I just enjoy the game. I, I love the graphics. I love looking at the logos on the helmet and the players and the uniforms. It's, everything just looks so good. Just It's so fun. Kevin House with a grab inside the 30. 29 yards, and the Buccaneers got some things going here. We need the blitz. We need to sack him now. All righty. Here comes the blitz now. Williams goes down. Good call. Fantastic call by the defensive coordinator. And they were playing pass all the way. So second and 17. We're going to defend the medium pass right now. Williams back to pass. Fires this one deep. And Bell has it inside the 15 and goes out of bounds. It's a nice square out by Bell over there. And we're going to blitz again. First and 10. 
Clock moving. Buccaneers hurried up. Williams back. They pick up the blitz. It's over the middle. Incomplete down near the goal line. Jimmy Giles had it and lost it, and it's going to be second and ten. Here comes another blitz. Williams under center. Back to pass. Into trouble. Fires this one. Caught by Bell. Touchdown. Tampa Bay. So he eluded the rush, and he hit Theo Bell for 14 yards, and the Buccaneers have got in the end zone for the first time today. Capiz will come in for the extra point, and the kick is up and just barely over the bar, but it is good. 25-10 to 10 is our score here in New York. I don't know if they're going to onside it. Um, let's set up for the onside just in case. Just in case. Yep, they go onside, and the Giants. No, Tampa Bay has it. I, the onsides, I find, are very good in this game. That's the second time I've seen a successful onside kick. So Tampa Bay has it. Jalen 25-10, to 10, under six to play. Williams, quick pass to Giles, and that is caught. We're going to go uh, medium pass defend here. Tampa Bay trying to get some things going late. And that's incomplete. And it's going to be third and six now. And we're going to go short pass. All right, Williams under center. The ball near midfield. Williams finds complete to Bell. And Bell has it inside the 35. 17 yards. And here come the Buccaneers. We'll see if we can blitz against the pass. Let's see if we can get him. Could use another sack here. And this time it's going to be a run to Eckwood. He's forced out. Out goes out of bounds. Five minutes to play here. And it's going to be second and seven. So we're going to go blitz against the pass. We're going to keep coming for him right now. It's a three-score game. Williams fires. Caught by Giles. Down near the 20. And here come the Buccaneers. Let's go short pass this time. Williams out of the shotgun. Plenty of time. Fires this one towards the end zone. Jones touchdown. Actually, it's Eckwood on the catch. So Eckwood goes in for the score, and the Buccaneers have connected twice here in the last minute, and now they're within striking distance. Holy cow. I don't know why it says Jones if that was Eckwood, but that's all right. And Wild is back in the game, so here comes the extra point attempt by Capice. And Capice puts that through. All right. So 25-17, still an eight-point game, though, with no two-point conversions. I suppose I could have put that in, too, right? That would have made 81 really kind of fun, two-point conversions. Oh, next time. Next time. I already have the goalpost moved in, so that's plenty. Let's go for the onside. Last time Tampa Bay converted, and this time they're going to kick it deep. Interesting. With 4.23 to go, they have all their timeouts. Bright will bring it up, and Bright with a nice return out to the 28-yard line. All right, here come the Giants now. Inside run. Going to try to grind out some of the Tampa Bay timeout, timeouts. Bruner to Bright. Bright on the right side. Going to pick up a few. Clock is running. Um, Sims is going to come back in the game. Now that the Buccaneers have scored two touchdowns here. And we're going to go uh, middle run this time. Need to grind this clock down. Sims to Bright up the middle. He'll pick up a few. And the clock is running with 3.28 to play. We're going to go inside run. Don't want that clock to stop. And Bright, can he get the first down? Oh, he's near it. And first down. He picks up the four yards. That's a big first down for the Giants. And now we can go outside run. And Tampa Bay has called a timeout with 2.53 to play. Yeah, we're going to go outside run this time because they think we're going inside. We're going outside. Oh, they snuff us. Oh, boy. Three-yard loss. Dave Logan called his name all day today with the stop. Tampa Bay's called using another timeout. They got one left. Middle run. Second and 13. Sims keeps it himself. He gets two, and it's going to be a third and 11. We're going to go inside run again. Tampa Bay calls their last timeout. So third and 11. I think we're going to go draw play. They know we're not going to pass, but still. And Perry up the middle. He'll get a couple. So the clock will run. 
Manage clock options. We want to uh, let the clock run down to about 210. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, we want to stay in bounds. Yep, all that stuff there. And now we're going to punt this one away. And we're going to go... We don't want any return, so we're going to punt toward the sidelines. All right, so Dave Jennings back. Put, put, put. Two minute warning. And we got the two minute warning here. So the Buccaneers have stormed back here. And we're going to go toward the sidelines again. I don't want any return on this. Jennings with the kick. That's headed out of bounds. Well, the 26 yard line, and I will take that. I will take that kick. 34-yard kick would look a little bit better than that, but that's all right. All righty, so we're going to have to go just uh, defend medium passes right now for the rest of the way. Can Doug Williams pull off a miracle in the Meadowlands here? Down 25-3. to three. It's now 25-17, to 17 and the pass is incomplete to Wilder. Uh, let's go long pass this time. Williams, back to pass. Fires us in over the middle. Wilder has it. First hand out to the 40 yard line. Again, a 15. Call it the 41. And the Buccaneers with no timeouts. They rush to the line of scrimmage. Eckwood's on a sweep, and he gets out of bounds. He'll get a couple yards, and he goes out of bounds. Hmm. Lock options. Uh, cover the guide. Opens up the middle. Okay, so we'll open up the middle. That's, that's good. I like that. Defend on medium passes. Okay, we're going to give him the middle. <clears throat> Williams, back to pass. Incomplete. Can't connect with Bell. Third down. And it's going to be second and eight. Call it third and eight, actually. Another medium pass. Williams, back to pass. Fires this one. Bell has it. Trying to get out of bounds, and he does. But it's going to be fourth down now. Hmm. It's going to be fourth in one for the Buccaneers. As Mark stops by, great interview last week with Kerry. Yes, it was. You purchased the game Saturday and stayed up all night playing it and putting in the mods and playing. Yeah, yeah, this is fun. This game is just fun. There's no way to put it. It's just fun. All righty. So it's, here's the stage right now. It's Giants 25, Buccaneers 17. We have a minute 10 to play. The ball's at midfield. The clock is stopped. And the Buccaneers have a fourth and one. They need a first down to keep the drive going. They trail by eight. There's no two-point conversions in 1981. Short yardage defense in for the Giants. Everybody up here. Williams is going to air this one out. Wilder gets it. That's a first down. First down. Four yards on the catch. They rush to the line of scrimmage. We're going to go defend the long pass. Williams with 47 seconds left to play. Airs this one out deep. And Giles has it. And he gets out of bounds. A 20-yard catch in the Buccaneers. Oh, boy, and the camera pans over to Joe Danello on the sidelines and looked at his four missed field goals in this game. And, uh, yeah, we might be looking for a new field goal kicker next week. All right, we're going to blitz. We're going to blitz here. 39 seconds left. The ball to Giant 26. The Buccaneers driving here. Yep. And Bell can't come down with this one as the blitz was on. We're going to go blitz again. We're going to keep coming. We're not going to give him any time. Williams back to pass. Blitz is picked up. House has it. And he's out of bounds. We got a flag. And it's holding on the Giants. So Tampa Bay gets a fresh set of downs here. First and 10 on the 21. And we're going to keep coming. We're going to keep blitzing. We're going to keep blitzing. Williams back to pass. Throws this one. Caught by Giles. And he's tackled at the three. Oh, he almost went in for the score. Time is ticking away. We're going to go uh, run defense, inside run. And Williams back to pass. Fires this one over the middle. Incomplete. Oh, boy. So it's going to be second in goal now. Oop, what happened here? And, no, nope, actually, time runs out. Time ran out on the play. And the Giants hang on for a 25-17 win. Rob Carpenter, the MVP. That's kind of neat. 27 rushes for 124 yards. He also had a couple of catches. He has a couple of TDs as well. And that was that. Boy, I tell you, Buccaneers with 14 points in that fourth quarter. They almost had another one. They had to cut it to 25-24. But that's where we will end up here. And if I go to my play-by-play -play now, save compact, save legacy. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to hold off on that. All righty, so let's go back here, and let's go back to the studio now. Oh, 
Got to go back here. Can we go back to the studio? Um, schedule week one. Completed, completed, completed. Your box score. I don't know if I get to the studio from here. I want to get back to my studio. Um, well, let's reveal everything here. So we're going to reveal all the scores. <coughs> and go to the car. Oh, let's go back here. Let's go back to week one. All right, let's wrap up some of the scores here from week one. It was a strong finish in Atlanta for the Packers as they got an opening day win over Atlanta, 31-17. to Buffalo uh, skates away here from the, yeah, look at that. They held the uh, Redskins to nothing in that fourth quarter, and the Bills 35-24 to over the Redskins. Close game in Chicago, Cincinnati, the eventual uh, Super Bowl representation of the AFC that year with the win. Let's take a look at our highlights. Anything late that we want to take a look at here? Uh, no, good comeback here. 14 points in the fourth quarter by Chicago, but Cincinnati hangs on with a 17-14 win. New Orleans coming back over Dallas. If you remember, that was a 10-0 Dallas lead. 17 points in the fourth quarter by the Saints. Uh, how about them boys? Let's go to that fourth quarter. So it was an eight-yard pass from Archie Manning to Caster, and that got the Saints on the board. It was 10-7. Touchdown. Yeah. And then... A little bit later, after a missed field goal by Septien. A lot of missed field goals here in week one. Uh, Benny Ricardo with a field goal. And then George Rogers with a 13-yard run. And that would be the game winner right there. George Rogers Touchdown. with the score. And uh, let me see. All right, so let me see. Click on the highlights button to the far right of each matchup. All right, click on the highlights button to the far right of each matchup. All right, we'll have to check that out one second. Oh, can't, oh overtime. we got to go to overtime in Kansas City. So it was the um, – so we got the highlights over here. So we want to click on the highlights button to the far right of each matchup. Okay, I'll have to check that out. So in overtime, what happened in overtime? Oh, Nick Lowry, the chance to win it. It was 30-30. to 30. Look at the missed field goals today. And we've moved up. We've moved up the field goals. Maybe that's causing problems. Because we moved up the field goal to the goal line. Nick Lowry from 26 yards away. Joe Danello, eat your heart out. Nick Lowry pushing that one wide. And it was wide right. And that sends us to overtime with Chuck Muncie. 36 yards from Dan Fouts as the Chargers will take this one from Kansas City. 36 to 30 as Muncie goes around everybody. And you're not going to catch him. And he goes in for the score. Touchdown. And that's what happened in Kansas City. Uh, Detroit, holy cow, getting by Minnesota. Miami over Cleveland. Then the Patriots lose in overtime, another overtime game. So let's check this one out here. As no scoring in the fourth quarter, a missed field goal by John Smith to 28 yards. Boy, a lot of missed field goal chances here. <laughs> Let's watch this one here. With time running out, Al Red Sox fan. It is John Smith. It is no good. It is no good. And we go to overtime, and the Chargers drive it down. And he punches it in. Wendell Tyler for the score in Foxborough as the Rams come away with a 23-17 win. And I will have to screen, uh, do a video of that field goal. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> The Jets hang on over the Colts, 20-14 to 14 in the game you saw here live. It was the Giants, 25, and the Buccaneers, 17. San Francisco all over Oakland, 31-12. to 12. The Eagles doubling up the Steelers, 28-14. to 14. And uh, Houston hanging on in Seattle for a 19-17 to 17 win. And Denver gets this one up over St. Louis. Let's go check this one out. Denver with a fourth-quarter field goal to get the win. Let's take a look at that right here. Uh, we finally have a successful field goal, 33 yards from Fred Steinford. Here it is. Steinford, and he'll get the win here, the hold by DeBerg, and that one is good, and Denver good. will get the win in St. Louis. And that's where we, we stand here. So we go back, and let's go to our standings. Yeah, so here we are on our standings. The Giants with that win over the Buccaneers, 
uh, and the Eagles uh, leading the, the East Division there. Detroit and Green Bay with wins lead the Central. New Orleans with that comeback win over Dallas. They uh, are tied with San Francisco and Los Angeles. Los Angeles with that win over New England in overtime. The Jets, Miami, and Buffalo all won. Houston and Cincinnati win. And in the West, San Diego and Denver. And that is that. And I'll go back to Studio B. And that is that. How much fun can you have with this, right? <laughs> Played this all night. <laughs> Seriously. I got to go to work tonight, too, so I got to start getting ready for that. But anyway, a lot, a lot of fun. Holy cow, was that fun. That was so much fun. Going back and checking all those games, it just, it just makes you, it just, the whole experience is just a good time. But anyway, so that is Pro Strategy Football 2023. That is week one of my 1981 season with the field goals on the goalposts and a random schedule, by the way. So I'm not playing an actual schedule. I like how you can randomize the schedule. So that is that. I'm Dave from Studio B, filling in for Ron this afternoon. You guys have fun, and uh, we will catch you later. New digital device probably coming on Thursday this week. And um, we'll talk to you.